I don't know anything, I'm just playing, I'm trying to pick you up. Obviously, you're standing strong in your bullshit. In your bullshit. <laughs> in your bullshit. That's how I argue with my girlfriend. <laughs> you're standing strong in your bullshit. I'm like, yeah, you full of shit, nigga. <laughs> nigga, come on now, nigga. Come on now, nigga. <laughs> you are chill, <laughs> That's chill, <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that. Yeah. Who says that? It's M. Who's M? Behind you. Behind you. I'm being shot. One thing Meg Jr. will do without hesitating is definitely dragging Liema. He will do that. Any given opportunity, he'll definitely do that. And honestly, I love it because Meg Jr. speaks facts like he literally spits facts he doesn't just talk g just because of talking whatever he says like it's very much relevant by the way guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me if you are new to this channel welcome welcome and welcome please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button you turn on your notification bell you like you share you comment you watch my ads you also hit turn on your notification bell after subscribing yeah so you make sure that you receive the notification okay guys now let's talk about mcjunior and liema's situation i feel like okay i feel like at first really mcjunior was into liema like he literally liked her and he want probably wanted something more with her but seeing how everything was going, he was just like, mm -mm, no, no, no. But one thing we cannot deny is the fact that McJunior love cares, not loves, but like cares about Liema because, I mean, even before this, he used to give Liema a lot of advices regarding um her relationship with Jared. Even when before thing before things actually got worse, before things actually got worse, it it be there telling her the truth, you know, telling her that no, you don't deserve this. You need to learn some self respect and all of that. And I feel like every time Magdalena have this this kind of conversation with Liema, obviously she's she feels uncomfortable yeah a little bit uncomfortable because she knows that mcjunior is a straight talker so yesterday when they were by, by the wardrobe side um he was like okay he was literally telling liema about willie betraying him okay i will tell you the story about willie after when i'm done with this but like basically he was just telling liema about you know being betrayed by willie and stuff and then liam i kept on saying yeah you know what this house is messed up it is messed up and then out of the blue mcjuna was like yeah you are messed up and liam was like what what's going on did you hear something about me or what and honestly i don't think uh young puppy wanted i mean oh i don't think mcjuna wanted to address the young puppy situation uh, about young puppy and liam i kissing but i thought I thought I thought maybe he wanted I'm thinking maybe he wanted to address the Liema and Bumi kissing business because that day when it happened that day when it happened he was so pissed and he had a lot he had a lot to say one thing about McJunior is the fact that he's he's not a gossip he's not someone who will talk about something behind your back and then in your face he says something else he's not like that the very same day when um when this happened he was with taiki and snaye and Milay, and they were talking about this that you know what mcjuna is like you know what this that mpumi and liema are doing 
it's no longer just about the game or saying that we're doing our own thing this has emotions involved and these people they don't really know what they're getting themselves into unless they've been doing this kind of things because how can you just like turn yourself and behave like something that you're not just to try and fit in you know so like he was not really happy so yesterday when he was having that conversation with liema i'm thinking he really wanted to have you know um a, a certain talk about that even though uh z and Millie came into the picture Millie was not really a part of it but z was there when uh mc jr also told liema that at some point she also she she also needs to give her lips some break <laughs> guys i'm like mc jr Yo, like he's is is so straightforward, and I don't understand why Liam was feeling uncomfortable because, or maybe because Z was also there, and yeah, now she knows what had happened between her and Young Papi, and you know she just felt awkward about that whole entire situation. But yeah, that's just it. Meg Junior isn't really happy with Liam's actions and her decisions as well. Like it's just crazy for him. On the other hand, when I, I told you that I'm going to come back to Willie and Mac Jr.'s story. So yeah, last night when they were having the arena games, Willie decided to sabotage Mac Jr. I don't understand why. Willie won twice. Why wouldn't he want other people to, to win more than once? Because clearly from what had happened yesterday he was somehow blocking mcjr from winning because he told mcjr that the, the 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 key that that's needed for the game it's gold but then it was silver and then mcjr got lost in all of that you know thinking that okay we did told me this and but that's the key you know that's the key and the key that's there, it's silver, but Willie told me it's gold. So clearly, Willie just wanted to sabotage his game and he was definitely not happy about it because he kept going on and on and on about it and also mentioning things like some people don't really even know what some other people need that money for. But at the end of the day, I feel like everybody needs the money. Everybody deserves to win. As long as you don't get to a point where you literally sabotage someone and they also notice that okay you're trying to mess up their game just like willie did that was very very wrong of him i am like honestly it was very wrong of him he shouldn't have done that he should have just let my junior fail on his own if he doesn't win the five thousand rands it's also okay but he shouldn't have interfered and lied to him about the key so yeah guys that will be all for now please do stay tuned and stick around for more content i will be posting more videos and yeah make sure that you are subscribed you like you also receive notifications so you do not miss any single video that i post for now i'll have to love and leave you please do take care i will see you guys later when i come back with more videos Bye.